excuse me, stretching it out. But let's talk about Aiden Hutchinson. Um, talked a little bit about kind of what uh, Dan Campbell said about his performance. Um, wasn't really worried about it, but I was pretty impressed. You know, um, sacking the quarterback is already hard too. A lot of people got mad because he missed. Uh, he just missed Jalen Hurts, but he clearly is their most athletic player on that defensive line right there, him and uh, Charles Harris. But, you know, I, I've been super-duper impressed with Nate Hutchinson, man. I mean, just watch him in preseason. Um, I mean, even, you know, Jason Kelsey gave him, you know, wave reviews, man. He said he's a more athletic Jared Allen. Jared Allen was. We didn't know playing him from Minnesota. Also, he played with the Kansas City Chiefs and, you know, he put you. I mean, he he is more of a freak athlete than, than I've seen at Michigan. You know, I don't know if he lost some weight or whatever it is. He is uh, explosive. He is he is in one explosive joker, man. And I I am shocked about how good he really is. I am shocked. I didn't really. I knew he was good in Michigan, but he wasn't. He he wasn't this this uh, he wasn't this slick at Michigan. He he wasn't he wasn't um he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't this slick at Michigan dude. This and Ward is fast like dude. He shot off that ball a couple times. You just like you know he just like I told y'all man. His help is gonna have to come from uh his help was gonna have to come from uh they need some help on the interior. Now he had one assisted, one combo tackle. You know what I'm saying? Um, played 90 percent of the snaps, so he didn't get a sack or quarterback hit or nothing like that. But you got to understand, he won athlete in that front seven. Him, Malcolm Rodriguez, and Charles Harris are the two best, the three best athletes in that front seven. And you wondering like, how was uh, you know, Tracy Walker able to get in there and sack Jalen Hurts? That lets you know the problem that the Lions have real quick. That tell you everything you need to know right there, that when they blitzed a safety and he got home, he got home versus a – he got home instantly versus Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts could not run him. Jalen Hurts can dip around him. Tracy Walker went in there and, and closed the deal. Right then and there, they don't have enough athletes in the front seven. So when you start talking about uh, when you start talking about uh, a Hutchinson being one athlete out there, then you start talking about Charles Harris being one athlete out there in the front seven. Then you start talking about uh, Malcolm Rodriguez being one athlete being out there. That's not enough to have three in there. It's simply not enough. It's simply it's simply not enough to do the job. And then on top of that, you don't have pressure from the inside. You know what I'm saying? So that po- that po- that pressure in the pocket coming in the middle of his face, that helps. Now, if he can sit in that pocket and then, you know, he can just roll out as he please, you know what I'm saying? Of course. But when you make him change the direction when he don't want to, that gives the edge a better chance at, 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 at stopping him. You see what I'm saying? So they don't have that pressure up front and they don't have enough um, a- athletes in that front seven to really contend, and that's why Aaron Glenn made an adjustment. Now, you know, a lot of people saying, Well, he should have put a sky, he should have put a spy out there, but Aaron Glenn did make an adjustment, he did make an adjustment. An adjustment he made was he started putting Tracy Walker in the box, he started saying, Well, Tracy Walker, get out there and go get him. And that's what he said, Tracy Walker, get out there and go get him. You know, and I mean, it was smart. It, it was smart. Now you need you need somebody in there that's a freak athlete. You need a couple of them freak athletes in the front seven like Tracy Walker. And the commanders got one guy in. I like one of the lines to get Jamin Davis, middle linebacker from Kentucky. A straight, a straight savage in the middle at, at the uh middle linebacker, you know, uh, position. He's a freak athlete. They need more freak athletes up front. Now, one thing I can I can say that's encouraging is they're going to get – the Calvary going to eventually come back, hopefully, with uh, 
the Calvary eventually going to come back, hopefully with uh, Josh Pascal and Levi Anazorki. Then they're going to start to get some pressure up the middle of that, that defense. You know, that's going to happen. But next year, they main focus outside of the quarterback position is to go out there and find athletes at the linebacker position, um, more athletes at the interior line position, right? And more guys on the edge that's athletic as well, too. That That's their job. That's going to be their job next year. But Aiden Hutchinson, man, he, he, he is, man, I was fucking impressed. He is he more than I thought he was. I mean, this, this dude is a fluid athlete. This dude is a fluid athlete, bro. I mean, it's just if I knew he can bend, and that's one of the things that uh I knew he can bend. But man, his first step, man, um, you know, his first step, man. Woo, woo, I, I was just looking like, bro, I didn't see that at Michigan, dude. I, I didn't see that. You know, and he he looking he looking out there like man he looking like the real deal Holyfield. I don't really care what the stats say. You know the the, the stats are gonna come. That's gonna come. But man, that first step that kid got, man, sheesh, Luis. And he he knows it's Jalen Hurts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna take it's gonna take the gang to get there. It's Jalen Hurts. But man, I was impressed with that performance, man, by him. I was I was really impressed with his athleticism. I was impressed with his get off. Now he got to get some help up there. He got to get some help. So you know, Charles Harris, they got to get some help. Malcolm Rodriguez, Rodrigo, they got to get some help. You know, and if Andrew Zorki and Pascal come back, that's gonna give some help. Julian O'Cora come back, that's gonna give some help. Romeo O'Cora come back. It's going to give them a little bit of help. But next offseason, they know what they got to do. You know, they were talking about how Brad Holmes really don't want to take linebackers early. You can't play like that. You need freaks. You can't play like that. You need more freaks in that linebacker court, more athletically gifted freaks. So, but A. Hudson definitely hit that list. He definitely on that list. Um, you get more guys, you get 12, 11 guys like uh, like uh, him. I mean, I think you're gonna be in great shape. I think you're gonna be in phenomenal shape. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Man, I'm really reading to the stats and all that because the stats always don't tell the story. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check the trade lines talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance get notifications. We go live or drop the video. Um, hit my link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Apple Music, Google Music, the whole nine. Appreciate the love support. Uh, let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. One time for one time. Peace.